As a boy, he dreamt of being, in his own words, world king. But even leading the UK would prove trickier than Boris Johnson ever imagined. In those first moments, Brexit looms large. The people who bet against Britain are going to lose their shirts because we're going to restore trust in our democracy. And we're going to fulfill the repeated promises of Parliament to the people and come out of the EU on October the 31st. No ifs or buts. But parliamentary deadlock meant by the end of October, he was calling an election instead. Six weeks of colourful campaigning was summed up in three words. Get Brexit done. And he won a landslide majority. As he and then-girlfriend Carrie Simmons re-entered Downing Street, many commentators foresaw a long stint. Johnson, like Thatcher or Blair, could easily reach 10 years in number 10. But the world was about to change. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. For him and for us, an unsettling, unpredictable moment in our history. Within days, he would become the first world leader to confirm a positive diagnosis. And on the advice of the chief medical officer, I've taken a test that has come out positive. As many of us worked from home, so too did the PM. But his condition would deteriorate quickly. For three days, the prime minister was in intensive care. He later claimed preparations were even made on how to announce his death. I have today left hospital after a week in which the NHS has saved my life, no question. His voice was scratchy and he required a few weeks of recovery. He needed it for what was to follow. The case of the PM's then chief aide Dominic Cummings and why he relocated his family to County Durham during lockdown. The government's handling of the affair led to a collapse in the public's trust in poll after poll. A year later, as an ex-aide, his views on Mr Johnson were simply explosive. Fundamentally, I regarded him as unfit for the job and I was trying to create a structure around him to try and stop what I thought were extremely bad decisions. There were successes during his handling of Covid, as the UK saw the first use of a Covid jab outside of a trial. A public inquiry will eventually evaluate how well he did. But others have already concluded autumn 2021 was when the wheel started to come off the Johnson project. He drew criticism for this unusual reference in front of the United Nations. And when Kermit the Frog, Kermit the Frog sang, it's not easy being green. Do you remember that one? I want you to know that he was wrong. His decision-making over the Owen Paterson lobbying affair was poor, but nothing compared to revelations about Partygate. Is cheese and wine all right? No. It was a business no. meeting. <laughs> I'm joking. This is recorded. When so many people were observing the lockdown rules made at Number 10 in 2020, Number 10 itself appeared to be party central. Public fury grew. And in the end, the Prime Minister was fined. The invasion of Ukraine put him back on the world stage, but the Johnson administration was running out of friends at home. I can announce that the Parliamentary Party does have confidence. He narrowly won a vote of confidence in June, but more resignations... ...that Richard John Ford is duly elected. ...and by-election defeats piled up. And in the end, it was a lie about who knew what in a sexual assault case which prompted a torrent of resignations. Extraordinarily, a prime minister capable of winning a commanding majority will be remembered as one of this country's shortest serving leaders. He didn't even last as long as his predecessor, Theresa May.